I'd like to call to order uh, May 25th PZB8 board meeting um, at 7 p.m. General roll call, please. Chairman Kempa. Here. Scott DeGraff, Commissioner DeGraff is absent by prior notice. Commissioner Patel is absent by prior notice. Commissioner Sayward. Here. Commissioner Rigel. Here. Commissioner Simmons. Here. And Commissioner Mischewski is absent by prior notice. We do have a quorum. Okay. Um, Let's look at the meetings from uh, March 16th. Are there any corrections to the uh, minutes as presented? Uh, April 27th, right? Yes. April, yes. oh, wow, there is a lot of them. Okay, April 27th. Um, I'll make a motion to approve the minutes. As a second. I'll second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? All right. Um, we have no old business. Let's step right into the new business. Our first case is a PCBA case number 23-07V. Applicant is Victor Andrecki Bomprezi, uh, 1307 Williams Way. The request is a public hearing seeking variation. Oh, wait a minute. We have to change this. No, this is good. Yeah. This one's good. This one's good. The other one's bad. Okay. Yeah. Um, variation to section 5-3-4H1F of Prospect Heights Zoning Code to allow partial encroachment up to a maximum of 20 feet into a required corner yard setback to construct a fence at 1307 Williams Way, Arlington Heights in the city's R1 single family residential district. Um, can I please have a motion to open? Public uh, hearing case number 23-07-V. I'll make a motion. I'll second it. Roll call, please. Commissioner Simmons. Aye. Commissioner Sayward. Aye. Commissioner Rigel. Aye. Chairman Kempa. Aye. Um, do you want to give us a briefing or do we ask the applicant to uh, present? I'll give a quick briefing. Okay. Um, the Bomprezis are here this evening um, because they are would like to fence in their yard uh, as the they are installing the pool that they had outlined in their when they were here previously for their FAR um, approvals. What was that three years ago? Yeah, three years ago. Yeah. Um, Williams Way is a small cul-de-sac, and by definition, the north side of their property along the cul-de-sac is technically their um, corner side yard, because if it was a regular street, it would have been an intersection. So by definition, they're here to ask for a variation. And with that, I'll let the, we'll let the swim come in. And yep. Um, if you would like to uh, come up and present, I'll swear you in, whoever wants to speak. <laughs> Do you swear that your testimony will be the truth, uh, the whole truth, nothing but the truth? I, yes. Yes. Thank you. Uh, if you could uh, state your name and address for the record. Uh, Victor Bamprezi, 1307 Williams Way. And Jackie Bamprezi, 1307 Williams Way. Thank you. Floor is yours. Okay, so we're looking for a variance for our corner uh, side yard um, for Williams Way. Um, we're drawing, if you look at, let's see what exhibit that is. You can see it on exhibit five. Um, our corner yard um, backs up to commercial businesses, um, specifically the um, auto shop and Carvana. Um, right behind us, um, so there's met much traffic and everything. If you look on um, towards the back, the last there's some, a few pictures, so you can kind of visualize um, our side yard. We have a large side yard, and it's facing all commercial businesses on that side. Um, and right now, there's the auto place has like a wood fence that there's 
a gap in between that wood fence and then the um, the I don't know what kind of fence that it's is. The um, it's the storage the place. The storage place. It has a big retention. It's like a wrought iron. I wrought don't know. iron wrought on iron. top of the on top of the cement. There's a, there's a retention pond there. So there's a gap there. We have our kids um, playground set up right there, but I do feel very um, I, I, have, I feel like I have to be out there at all times when they're playing on the swing set because there's this gap which is leads right to Rand Road, you know, 100 feet away or however, how much. And then, and actually the fence that, you know, is around the retention pond, they could easily walk around that and get in there too. Um, so the fence is also, is a big thing for us for safety. And then if you look at what we're asking for, the variation, we're actually asking for this extra. This, this little. This part is the 25 here. foot setback. We're asking basically just to have like maybe a few feet up ahead, so that we can cover that whole side lot where the where we back up to the commercial. So it'll buildings. go up to like where those trees so are, the commercial so they can't walk around uh, it or get there. Yeah, yeah. So that's I mean basically it. Um, do you guys have any questions? I don't know if we explained. I wasn't sorry. I wasn't prepared to speak. <laughs> Um, did all right. What type of a fence is it? Vinyl, it's a vinyl fence, uh, six foot high tan. Six feet high. We were looking at doing eight feet on that side because I think we could technically do uh, eight feet since we're facing commercial. By property. the zoning code, the property that the, the what would be the north east side line uh, that could be as high as eight feet by code. Okay. By right. Because of yeah, the commercial We're planning business. on doing six feet, um, a tan color vinyl all around. Um, probably not going to do the eight feet just because it's that much more expensive. It's just crazy. <laughs> Everything is. It's it's almost you're looking at commercial like price. It's harder even to get that material. Because they have to so do two sections. So we'll probably just do the six feet all around. There's not a there's not a, na a residential neighbor to the north. No, no. there's none. It's no. all it's all if you look on here. It backs up if you've been down that street. That's Williams, Catherine's, the street over. That's Christina. Like, or Christina. Christina I don't Court. know where I keep getting Catherine. That's my daughter's middle name. <laughs> okay. Um, but it backs to Christina, which is right across the street. But this side, if you look at A and B, this is like right behind us is where the storage facility is on mm -hmm. this picture. Um, on I feel this like we one, should have, this is, is the whole line. The I'm going to go one. to this one. The next one. That's this like that. right. if so you're at our house facing towards you know the northeast that's that's why we, we should have had like a directional yeah. viewpoint that right. little area is the auto place that's next to carvana and then there's a little gap opening then there's this is a big retention pond mm -hmm. with just like a five four or five foot fence on top of it and that's why and, we're and looking like, to cover up to and there. they're great neighbors life storage great neighbor to have you know the auto place uh, he, well, you know but came, there are actually people that came by the owner yeah, but, yeah, yeah. Buy the, but um, you know, like there are people that still will walk through our yard to get to like Rand or to get to, you know, go to Target or, you know, so it is, um, yeah, for safety, I would say is the main, my main concern with that. Any other questions from uh, commissioners? Uh, no, I just want to compliment you on your application because it was very thorough. <laughs> Oh, and you, uh, I think you, you clearly made your point that that um, the standards are met, and and you've documented it very well. And um, I think you're right; it's a very unique situation. The shape of the lot and the fact that you're actually a corner, but you're on a cul-de-sac. Yeah. I mean, it's a very unusual situation. Right. So I think um, you did a great job. Uh, the fact that you don't have a neighbor to the north is another. Uh, important point and um, uh, the only comment I'd have would be uh, you had in your your letter you said you're going to put up a white vinyl privacy fence it's got a lot of nice wooded area back there I did take a, ru oh, a ride through but I get it where you need the privacy and I'm glad at least it's gonna be tan yes we white. switched it to tan <laughs> yeah she convinced me it's I cost more money it's like three grand more but I couldn't get the eight feet but I got the tan <laughs> 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 it can't have it all right it doesn't have it but we're also having the pool we're putting in so that's gonna have to be fenced anyway so yeah. okay yeah this was uh, this was excellent this, thank you yeah. um, there are no, thank you very much for your testimony. No, thank you. Thank you for um, your time. There are no other comments. I'd like a motion to uh, close. 
uh, the public public hearing number uh, 2307 at 7.10 p.m. I'll second it. Uh, can I have a roll, roll, roll call, please? Commissioner Rigel. Aye. Commissioner Sayward. Aye. Commissioner Simmons. Aye. And Chairman Kempa. Aye. Um, I'm assuming there is no discussion required. It's pretty straightforward. It's very well presented. Uh, the hardship is there, a very unique property. Um, I'd like a motion to accept into the public record um, evidence presented this evening. I'll make that motion. I second it. Uh, can I have a roll call, please? Commissioner Sayward. Aye. Commissioner Simmons. Aye. Commissioner Rigel. Aye. Chairman Kempa. Aye. Uh, now I would like a motion to recommend to the City Council approval of case number 23-07. Um, which is a variation to section 5-3-4 H1F of the Prospect Heights Zoning Code to allow partial encroachment of up to 20 feet into, a, into the required corner yard setback to construct a fence at 1307 Williams Way, Arlington Heights in the city's R1 residential family, uh, single family residential district. I'll make a motion. Second, please. I'll second it. Roll call, please. Commissioner Rigel. Aye. Commissioner Sayward. Aye. Commissioner Simmons. Aye. Chairman Kempa. Aye. You'll be here at 6.30 on Monday night, June 12th for the City Council. Thank you. Thank you guys so much for your Thank time. You. Thank, Thank you. 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 Thank you been old but it's back um, the crown castle is in for permit for uh, strengthening the new I think I mentioned this before yeah. they are going to be putting a perforated shroud around it versus a solid shroud um, wing stop is it, a, is it only a permit or is it a, a variance no they uh, because it, they're it's the exact same structure, just a reinforcement mm -hmm. and a change of material. It does not have to have any other approvals. Okay. Um, Wingstop got their opening last week. Uh, they'll be moving forward with the gaming parlors uh, once they get approval from the state. And Jets is looking to be open about 60 to 90 days after, and that's a franchise rule. Uh, that they have yeah, where, where's the Jets going? in the same building it's going to be Wingstop uh, Chelsea's gaming and then the Jets and it's the applicant as a condition of his approval was required to install a fence along the property to the west um, the residential unit the black headlights and stuff the two the owner of the residential and the owner of the development Mr. Patel have uh, come to an agreement and we should be getting permits for the fence so that's be, being followed up on uh, progress considerable progress is uh, happening at Barcelona and I can't wait till it opens it's uh, they're going all out on there they're looking at an August opening uh, with that one um, that's pretty much it on some of the older stuff uh, previous stuff um, next month we will be having a meeting on the 22nd of June we have three uh, cases um, a vi variation for a um, yard um, playground equipment in a front yard um, the property back is at Cary Court and actually has a county detention basin in their backyard and it fills up like a lake every time so there's no place no, there's no place so they're going to ask for that um, we have another side yard fence corner side yard fence variation that the applicant did the most amazing job if you think this application was good wait till you see it um, and <laughs> there was a the word. there was a discussion at the um, at the joint meeting about you know is there certain examples of places where possibly administrative 
could do, if you look at this application, it addressed a lot of the issues that were raised by Mr. Blue. So when you look at that next month, just think back to the meeting night and see how that looked on some of those minor non-conforming situations or some of those areas that may not necessarily need to come back. So uh, I thought, when I got it, it's like, oh, my job's done. <laughs> and I apologize for the typos in tonight's uh, cover memo. It was crazy that will be corrected before it goes to council. Um, and then we will be um, probably approving the official zoning map at the June meeting. Okay. So. All right. Anybody else? Any communications? I have a motion to adjourn the May 25th PZBA meeting at 7 16 p.m. please. I'll make that motion. I second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Thank you all.